Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name's Renee, thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you being here. Good morning and welcome to Beauty Ninja Mask Monday. We're gonna be doing the Creme Shop, the Magical Skin Mask, and everything's better in pink. And these are my Grace and Stella eye patches. So this is what we're doing today. My face is a little red because I just shaved my face. So yeah, we're gonna have to deal with that right now. And we've got a little haul to do. So if you're interested, then stick around because I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, I'm back. I got the eye patches and the mask on. This is the cutest thing ever. I'm a freaking unicorn. So yeah. This is 15 to 20 minutes, which should be plenty enough time to get into my haul, you guys. I was out for dinner one night. I got off of work and I went to um, Applebee's because I love Applebee's and I had had a long day at work and I was like, I'm just gonna go to Applebee's. I'm gonna get like an appetizer or whatever, order a drink, just kind of chill out and Bath and Body Works happened. Bath and Body Works happened. Beauty Ninja Knife. So I placed an order because they were having like a super good sale. And then they had a code as well. And you could get like an extra, I think it was 20% off or something like that. I don't know. But it was like too good to pass up. So your girl got on and ordered because, you know. They got me. They got me with the sale and the discounts. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff in here. I love their little box with the like blue and white checker. All right, so first thing we got, and a lot of this stuff I'm probably gonna put away for Christmas next year um, to put in my Christmas bags. Yes, I, I already started Christmas shopping for next year. Sue me. All right, we got Winterberry Wonder by Bath and Body Works Daily Nourishing Body Lotion. And a lot of these were like three or four dollars, something like that. And then the discount on top of that, and it was only for that, that day. So I had to get it that night. So I did. So this is the first one. So cool, you guys. People are gonna love me next Christmas. Winterberry, so I got two of those. Winterberry, three. This is Winterberry Wonder Four. So I have four of those. Let's see, we have five of <laughs> the Winterberry. Because I usually do five or six gift bags, it just depends. Um, so I got one, two, three, five of the Winterberries. So one of each of those will go in the, the Christmas bags for next year. I'm going to have to figure out where to keep all of this stuff until next year, you guys. Oh, what a mess this is going to be. Let me move this onto my lap. And then the next thing I got was Very Berry Good Days Strawberry Soda. Does that not sound delicious? Of course you can't drink it, though. We got one, two three, four. These are so cold, you guys, because they were sitting outside. Let me just tell you, it's freaking freezing here. When I left for work this morning, it was 14 degrees. When I got off work this afternoon, it was 25 degrees. So yeah, it's freaking cold. Got another one. So we got five of those and five of, so we got five hand soaps and five body lotions. We're off to a good start for Christmas next year. And then I got this strawberry pound cake shea butter hand cream. I guess I just got one of these. Rude. And I think the reason was is because they had a limit on this and I tried to add like five of them in my cart and it wouldn't let me. I could be wrong. Maybe I messed up or something when I was doing my order, but I remember thinking, why can't I get more of them? Maybe because they were too on sale and they have a limit to how many you can buy because sometimes when there's sales, 
they put a limit on how many you can get, which really stinks. Sometimes on Avon, they'll do that to me. They'll have like these great sales and I'm like, add, 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 because I can purchase all of these and use them in my gift bags, right? No, because they put a freaking limit on you. Next we have Winter Candy Apple Fine Fragrance Mist. Bath and Body. Why am I saying Bath and Body? We're doing a Bath and Body Works haul, so everything's Bath and Body Works. I don't need to keep telling you it's Bath and Body. So this is Winter Candy Apple. I wanna smell this so bad. Let me see if I... Ooh, that's... Ooh, that smells good. Okay, we got that one. And then, because these ones are going to be for me. Because I love the smelly good stuff. Oh, that smells really good. And then we got Vanilla Bean Noel because... Oh, now, how am I going to smell this one? Spray it on my other arm, I guess. Oh, that smells so good. Vanilla, if you don't know, my favorite. Oh, yeah, that's the best one. This one is really good. This smells good. This is my favorite. Smells good. This is my favorite. And I just got like three different people got me body sprays for Christmas. So, and they're vanilla. I got Victoria's Secret and uh, I think two Victoria's Secret and maybe one Bath and Body, which was from my sister, I believe, but love them so much. Anyways, so that's my haul. What do you guys think? Yes, I know it's a little early to be shopping for Christmas next year, but this is what I do throughout the year. I purchase stuff from Avon. I, if there's sales, I'll, I'll purchase it. And then I have like this big box in my room and I put everything in there. And then at Christmas time, like when I do my gift bags, I get the box out and then I start putting stuff in there. If I have like skincare, I have an over. I'm overloaded in face masks. I'll put face masks in there. And then, of course, I'll make a couple trips to the Dollar Tree to buy, you know, like the little tissue paper because you can get like three tissues in a pack. So I'll buy like two or three of those depending on how many gift bags I'm making. And then I pop it open and each bag gets the, the tissue. You know, you guys have seen, if you haven't seen, go to my um, Vlogmas in December and look at my gift bags and you'll see like, what I put in there and then sometimes I'll go I make cookies too as well but then sometimes like one year I was at Big Lots and they had these like little tiny apple cider uh, like the it's they look like champagne bottles but it's um, apple cider instead of champagne and so I bought like six of those and each bag got the little cider thing. So sometimes I'll come across things. I put like hand sanitizers, whatever, you know what I mean? Like anything that I can find that's on sale, I like to buy and put in my gift bags because honestly, it might be stuff that people don't think to buy, but like they'll use if they have it, you know what I mean? Or they'll be like, oh, I, I've been wanting to get this and I didn't and like whatever, it is what it is. But anyways, yeah, I started my Christmas shopping already. Um, so, I need prayers guys a lot of prayers um not for me thank god knock on wood um but my aunt donna is back in the hospital she was in the hospital for almost a month they released her uh she was home i don't even think a week or maybe a week maybe a little more than a week she's back in the hospital again she had pneumonia and she has blood clots in her lungs. So I really need a lot of prayers for her. And then I got a message from my stepmom. She texted me. And then uh, she was telling, asking me to talk my dad into going to urgent care. Because I guess he was really wobbly. And um, his... I think his right arm he was really weak. Like he wasn't able to, his left arm was fine, but his right arm was just like hanging there. And so, um, and then she called me and I was like, let me talk to my dad. So she put my dad on the phone and I was talking to him and I was crying and I was like, please, dad, please go to urgent care. He's like, I will tomorrow. And he was like almost laughing at me. You know, because he's just like, I'll go tomorrow. I'm fine. I'll go tomorrow. And I'm like, 
please, Dad, don't make me drive over there. You know, because there's like this horrendous snowstorm in the passes right now. So there's no way that I could really drive over there right now. But like, <laughs> I was threatening, don't make me drive over there and make you go to urgent car care. Like, I mean, it would have taken me probably eight hours to get over there with the weather. So it wouldn't have made much sense. He wouldn't have been able to go to the next day anyway. But um, the next morning they took him to urgent care and his blood pressure was really high. Um, but they didn't say it was a stroke because the night before we were thinking maybe it was a stroke. And, and then I asked her, I said, well, look at his face. How's his face and how's his, his speech? Because usually if you're having a stroke, you're, you know, your face will kind of droop and your speech will be, you know, kind of messed up. But it was just really making me nervous that he was wobbly and that his right arm, he didn't really have any strength in it. So, of course, immediately I'm thinking something with his heart, stroke, blood clot, something. Um, but his blood pressure was really high and they gave him uh, blood pressure meds to bring his blood pressure down. And I think they gave him four days worth and then he's supposed to go in for um, a follow-up and hopefully he won't miss that. But prayers for him that everything's okay because like literally with everything that my dad's been going through and then he's struggling because he hasn't really been getting a lot of calls for his business. And so, like, it, it's just a struggle bus for him right now. And I know that, like, him not having work is really hard for him. Even though he's, like, 74 years old, that man wants to get up and go to work every single day. He, that's, you know, and I just, it scares me that he doesn't have that to get up to go to every day that he's not getting the calls and so i'm worried about what that's going to do to his his mental health you know and with him having the cancer and the spot on his lung and now this high blood pressure thing it's just like i'm scared and you know my son came out and i was crying he was like what's wrong is everything okay and you know, he's like, well, we're just going to have to go over there. And I'm like, well, we got to wait till the weather warms up so that we can get across the pass. So we won't be able to go over till like, I don't know, May probably is the soonest. It depends on the weather and how the mountains do. So that's like, you know, and I want to go back east and visit my family and see my grandma because my grandma's 98 and I don't know how long you know, much longer she's going to be around and then my Aunt Donna being in the hospital and what's going on with her. It's just like a lot right now. And, you know, I'm worried. And I just, all the prayers that you can possibly muster up would really mean a lot to me. And then I have a friend at work that's going through something right now. And so that's been really hard to see her going through that. Um, it's not really my story to tell, but you know, her and her family need a lot of prayers right now, too. So, it's just a lot. And I'm trying to keep it together. And, you know, sometimes I, I have those moments where I just break down. And, you know, like when I was talking to my dad, it was one of those moments where I was just breaking down. And it was like, please, dad. And then I texted him the next day after he went to urgent care. And I was like, thank you for going. Because it just... You know what I mean? Like... It just took a little bit of weight off my shoulders knowing that he went in to see a doctor and that if there was anything wrong, hopefully that they, they would have found it then. And, you know, and they found the high blood pressure and they gave him meds. And, you know, I just want him to be around as long as he possibly can because he's all I got left, you know? I mean, I have my sister's. You know, my sister Tori and my sister Brandy, but Tori lives back east and, you know, we don't really talk a lot because she's a lot younger than me. And, you know, she had a rough relationship with my other sister, Missy. And so it, I think it just put a strain on our family dynamic. And, you know, um, her and my dad don't have like a really close relationship. And so it's been really rough. So, you know, Brandy is the only one I have because my older sister, Michelle, passed away a couple years after my little sister, Missy, passed away. And, you know, my mom died when I was 23. So, you know, I'm just... And, and I know, like, don't, don't borrow trouble, you know what I mean? But 
like everybody's getting older and it's it's just something that I think about you know like I don't know how much longer I'm gonna have my grandma I don't know how much longer I'm gonna have my dad and I just it breaks my heart that I can't be closer to all of my family my dad lives four and a half hours away my rest of my family lives on the east coast you know my sister lives here but her and her husband are talking about moving to another state and it's like this is killing me. You know what I mean? So just all the prayers that you can possibly muster up, you know, we'd really appreciate it. It would mean a lot. It's been almost 20 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and take this mask off. Like the bottom of it dried out pretty good, but the top on my um, forehead, not so much. Really good mask. I think I'm going to put some of this serum from the mask on my arms and my hands. I'm doing laundry right now, trying to stay ahead of the game. I gotta unload my dishwasher. I always wash my dishes and then put them in the dishwasher, but then I run the dishwasher, even though I really don't need to, just to make sure like they're super clean. I've been getting um, memories on my Facebook and uh, what's today's, I'm filming this on January 13th, but January 9th was a year since my surgery guys that's crazy right so all these memories are coming up from like the day i had my surgery and then like my scar and how like it looked like it was literally this big and now you can barely see it like like crazy you guys like i can't believe it's been a whole freaking year since i had my surgery and i was so scared seeing the scar and everything and now looking at it it's like you know, I shouldn't have been so worried, but, you know, how do you not worry when they're going to be cutting into you? But anyways, that's my video for today. Let me know what did you think of my little bath and body haul <laughs> for Christmas next year. Or, well, the end of this year because it's 2024 now. But, yeah, prayers and I return, I return all the love and prayers to you guys as well for anything that you might be going through. Um, I pray for you guys as well that if you're going through a hard time that it turns around and that you know you can have a better year you know I there's so many people starting off this year not great and it's it's got to turn around sometime right it's got to turn around sometime but I love you guys also very much I hope that you all have an amazing morning afternoon or evening whatever time of day it is that you're watching this there will be a playlist link down below I hope that you'll go click on it see what the other beauty ninjas are up to, what they're getting into this week. Um, and you can also follow the hashtag Mask Monday Ladies, Mask Monday Friends. If you wanna join in on the collab, it's an open collab. You can totally do a video doing a face mask, hair mask, hand mask, feet mask, just eye patches. You know, you can just put the mask on, say, oh, this is mask, read about it. You know, go off just a little short video, hashtag Mask Monday Ladies, Mask Monday Friends, and you'll be a part of the collab. And, you know, we would love to have you a part of it. Or even if you're just sitting at home watching it, you know, show yourself some self-love and throw on a mask with us. But anyways, yeah, check out the playlist. Follow the hashtags. There's a lot of amazing creators out there that I'm sure you'll vibe with. If you're new to the channel, we do a lot of different things on this channel, like today, Mask Monday, Wednesday, Get Ready With Me Wednesday. I'm in the middle of doing a palette collection and declutter uh, videos. I'm going to start Palette Picker Fridays. I don't know if it'll be this Friday or next Friday, but I, I, I'm, I'm hoping to get it done this Friday. Um, and I'll have I still have so many palettes, you guys. Like, I'm going through them, and then I put them away and put them in my palette picker, and then I look, and I find more in other drawers. And I'm like, how did this happen? How did this get out of control? So I've decluttered a few. I have uh, part three going up tomorrow, so if you want to check that out. And now I'm going off on a rant, but I think I'm going to go, once I get through this, I'm going to go back through my palettes again and see if I can declutter some more. We'll see how it goes. But anyways, if you enjoy this kind of stuff, then hit the subscribe button. Join the family, Nene's Glam Squad. We would love to have you a part of the family. Make sure you turn the notification bell up to all that way you can get notified 
anytime I make a new upload. If you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the haul, if you like Bath and Body Works, if you enjoy me turning myself into a unicorn, then, you know, give the video a thumbs up. It would really mean a lot. It helps out the channel, lets YouTube know that you enjoy seeing my content and leave a comment, say hi, let me know that you stopped by. And I hope that I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.